And the cheers start from the Memphis dugout as the first pitch of the season from Cornelius is bunted foul down the third baseline. And we are underway in the 2024 college baseball season. Just under 73 innings. Johnson turns on it and it's an extra base hit for the speedster. It rolls all the way to the wall and he's thinking three. Relay throw comes in. He's going to be in there safe, a head first slide. It's a leadoff triple for Caleb Johnson. Looking to deliver a big base hit right here. It'll do its job. A ground ball to short, the run scores. It's an RBI ground out for Brennan Norton and the Gamecocks lead in a number of years. And there's a big hit from Seth Cox. It's going to roll for quite a bit out in left field. Dante Stewart has the stop sign applied at third. It's a one out double for Seth Cox. And it's going to be a base hit to tie the game and maybe more. One run scores. The throw in from right field is cut off. And the Tigers take the lead here in the second. It's a two-run double for Brennan Dubose. Baskin 5-11, 2-10, and he grounds this one through for a base hit. Up the middle and past a diving Caleb Johnson. It's a leadoff single. Is set to follow on Sunday. But that is, of course, subject to change as Stewart has a base hit into left field. Back-to-back -back grounders with eyes. Hard hit to left field. That ball is out of here. Seth Cox had the double in the second inning. He has a home run here in the sixth, and the lead increases by three. It's five to one. The one-two runner goes. It's a hit and run, and it works to perfection into right center field. Going all the way to third base is Caleb Johnson. Runners are at the corners, and nobody's out. First pitch to him. This one's flown to left field. It's down as well. One run scores. Coming around to third base and holding up is Brennan Norton. It's an RBI double for Gabe Young. What a debut for the freshman. Ground ball to third base. Tags third on to first. Run scores, it's 5-3 in the eighth inning. Low and away, gets away, ball four, and the run will score. And the Gamecocks are down just a run here in the sixth. Breaking ball out to left field, and it's gonna get down again. Another extra base hit for Gabe Young. It's a one out double. You've gotta be kidding me. A triple, a double, a double. The payoff to Madliak. Base hit into left field. They're sending the freshman. The throw in from left gets by him. It's a tied ball game. He got him swinging. Kyle Chastain closes the door in the top of the ninth. Opening day and looking at how the other teams in the conference have done as Cox swings and misses. Swing and a miss, he got him. He got him down the middle. Payoff pitch from Atkinson. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Got him down the middle. Atkinson strikes out the side in the 12th. Got him swinging for out number one. He got him looking eight in a row. He got him. Ethan Atkinson does it again for the Gamecocks here in inning number 13. First pitch out to left field. This game is over. Ball don't lie. 
Gamecocks win it six to five in 13 innings. The senior from the land of Lincoln digs in. And the first pitch is a called strike one from Jackson Sleeper. A one one pitch. Line drive, base hit. Third hit already for Jack State. And it's a leadoff single for Caleb Johnson. Out to left field, way out of here. Derek Jackson Jr. hits one to the soccer complex. An absolute no doubter off the bat of Jackson. Line drive into center, that'll drop. They are gonna send the runner and the throw will be cut off. It's an RBI single, Brennan Dubose. Runner goes, it's a hit and run and he flies this one to right field. Moving back is Young, it's out of here. Alex Fernandez, his first home run as a Tiger. And Memphis takes a four to two lead in the fourth inning. And Compton might have went yard again. A fly ball out to Cocky's corner. It's out of here. It's another home run for Jacob Compton, his second in as many days. Ground ball through into left field. They're going to send Baskin. The throw from Collins. He's not in time. You do win the series against Oklahoma State. The bad news is the Cowboys scored 19 runs in the first five innings on Sunday. They call it a balk. A balk on gas, and Pierre Seals comes around to make it 7-2. Ball four, and a bases loaded walk drives in the eighth run of the day for U of M. And another walk, another run, it's nine to two. Ground ball to short, six, four, and three, and one pitch, two outs for Sam Maynard. Thomas, a preseason All-American in his time in high school three times, according to Perfect Game, is going to get another base hit, and it's going to roll all the way to the wall. He has an extra base hit. How about a one-out double for Kinski Thomas? They're going to say he took too long, so that'll be a walk for Silas. 2-0 is flown to left field by Walburn. That ball is out of here. The freshman goes yard, and the Gamecocks get three runs back. Heck of a job pinch hitting by the freshman. Fly ball left field, and it's going to get down in front of Smigelski. Brennan Norton with a two-out hit. Young draws a two-out walk. Base hit for Derek Jackson, Jr. It's going to roll to the wall. Both runners will score. He cuts the deficit in half with a two-run double. Base hit for Sam Silas, and the tying run will come to the plate here in the bottom of the ninth. The payoff to Hudson Walburn. Outside, ball four. The tying run gets on, and the winning run comes to the plate. Ground ball up the middle, through for a base hit. One run will score. They are going to send the other runner, and now they hold Silas. He comes around, and we're tied. Ground ball, slow roller to short. The throw from Curtis. Got him. Base hit into right field for Fernandez. 
He's speedy, he'll take the turnaround first, goes for second, and he's safe with a leadoff double. Pitch, outside ball four. He got him swinging. Set for the 0-1. Chopper, left side of the infield. Baker throws to first, is the only play he had. This one's popped up to the right side. Moving back is Sam Silas. He made the catch falling down. And we head to the bottom of the 10th inning in a 9-9 deadlock. Ground ball through, and the winning run is aboard with one down. Creighton Morse, a one-out single for Jacksonville State. The payoff to Thomas. Runner goes. Ball four. Back where it came from, into the outfield. They are sending Smallwood. The throw home is going to get him. Low ball four, and they are loaded. Here's the payoff from Hajaleski. Launched out to left field, going back. It's out of here. A walk-off grand slam for Caleb Johnson. And the Gamecocks take the opening series of the year. Unanswered to win it for Jacksonville State. Unreal. Hajaleski knew it right away. Johnson sends it into the trees for his first home run of the year. And Jacksonville State walks it off in 10, 13 to 9.